Hey, what's going on guys? Arix here. Welcome back to another video for The Division 2. In this one, I want to show you where you can find two of the new hunters. The new warlords of New York expansion. There are new hunters to track down, which of course means upon killing them, not only do you get some keys, but you also get new masks. And we've currently found two of them. They spawn together in the same location. If you guys did the hunters before, you'll know that sometimes they spawn as solo hunters, other times they spawn in groups, and this one is how to spawn two different hunters. They both have their own individual masks, the Psycho Mask and the Drip Mask, so if you guys want to know how to get these, then look no further. Of course, if you guys do enjoy this, then like we super appreciate it, and do be sure to keep it locked because we are hunting down the other hunters, so to speak, so uh, as and when we find them, we'll be sure to keep you guys up to date. But for this one, to begin with, what you want to do is go over to the northern part of the kind of playable New York space. If you go from Canal Street, you can then go and enter this building, and when you walk into it, there's a doorway that you can go through, and it'll bring you into this laundrette. Now, you'll notice that one of the washing machines has a number on it, 23, and it's basically sort of like illuminated by a spotlight. If you go over to that one, there is the option to interact. Now, upon interacting with it, the lights will go dark, and then a red light will come on, and this is the next part. After that, you then turn around, and you'll see that the fuse box in the wall will open, but it is currently missing a fuse. So, the next thing is to go and find said fuse. In order to do that, what you want to do is go over to where you see me on the map right now, just north of this safe house, and often near where one of those kind of propaganda events shows up. But you basically want to go to here, and you will then find this building with sort of like a fence around it. What you first you want to do is climb up onto this crate, and you'll see a yellow box on the outside of the building. Shoot this one, because of course it will then allow you to open the door. And then when you go inside, you basically sort of see this big open garage, but if you go to the back of that, sort of by the tires, there's another fuse box and you can interact with that and take out the fuse. The room goes dark, but you now have the fuse you need to go and put back into the previous room. With that being said, what you now want to do is return to the location we were just at, again, just down from Canal Street. You want to go into that same place, back into that same laundrette, but now you can go to the wall and you can put the fuse back in, you can interact with it. And upon doing that, what you then want to do is go back to that same washing machine, interact with it again, and it will now drop a key, room 23. What you then do is you go outside this room, outside the laundrette, up the staircase, and you go to room 23. You can use the key to open the door, and then when you go inside, there are a load of kind of spooky numbers on the wall, and you can interact with those. There's also a loot chest in there, grab that if you want, probably won't get anything great from it, you know, RNG and whatnot, but either way, interact with the numbers. You need to physically do that, but upon interacting with them, you're now ready to do the next part. This part actually involves a little bit of uh, fun platforming. I do actually kind of quite like how you know vertical some of these spaces are and there's like rooftops for you to climb around. But basically you want to go over to the location you see right now. This is actually basically a little bit south of sort of that laundrette area. But what you see over here, you want to go through the alleyway. If you look up, you can actually shoot the rope and it'll drop down and that will allow you to climb onto this building. You need to do this because if you climb over the top, you go down the ladder, you walk all your way across, you then kick down the uh, metal grates to basically form a bridge. And you then get to a door and you'll of course see if you follow the doorway there is a yellow cable crossing all the way across the uh, you know the alleyway and whatnot turn around and shoot the yellow box that the cable connects to that will then open up the door and you can then go inside once you go inside there will be a burned body by the wall with the uh, writing on the wall that says dare you come closer you can then go over and you can physically interact with the body or the wall. Keep in mind, if you haven't done the previous steps, if you haven't done the uh, interacting with the numbers or anything like that, you won't be able to interact with this wall. So the previous steps are mandatory. But once you've done that, you are now ready to go and spawn the hunter. What you then want to do is head over to the next location you see on the map, which is this sort of big burn building, this big burn school. And as you get there, just outside, there is a body basically sitting on the ground that you can interact with. You begin the interact option, it will then basically trigger a detonation, and upon doing that, the hunters will spawn. There are two of them, and if you guys fought the hunters before, when the Division 2 first came out, you will know they can be quite a pain. They have some new tech, they've got, got some new skills to play around with, and they do definitely catch you off guard. So, take them down. Do be careful, because we did this the first time, and one of them did run away. Like, they stayed and fought for quite a while, but because, you know, we weren't necessarily perfectly geared for this, we died a few times, killed the first hunter, 
by that time the second one ran, so I don't know whether there's some kind of inherent hidden timer, but either way, do try and stay on top of both of them, but there are two different hunters here, and if you kill both of them, you will get the Psycho Mask, and you will also get the Drip Mask. They also come with off-white keys, which can be used to open up a new chest in the new settlement, but of course we need to do that a little bit later on. So for the time being, that is it. That's how you spawn two of the hunters, in New York right now. Again, there will be some more. There's supposed to be four in New York and four in Washington, I believe. So of course, as and when we find out those new locations, I'll be sure to let you guys know. But for the time being, that is what you need to do. So get started on that, grab yourself some masks, grab yourself some keys, and keep it locked for plenty more. I really hope you guys enjoyed that video. Remember to hit that subscribe button and also click on the little bell icon to turn on notifications so you don't miss my next upload. Also don't forget, you can check out 269 and Paradise Central streaming over on Twitch six days a week. You can find a link to the multi-stream in the description box down below. Be sure to drop by and get involved. Thanks again for watching. Take it easy. Catch you next time. Peace out.